Here's a little test we haven't done for years, looking at the accuracy of GPS. So I'll switch on a GPS logger and put it on the top of the pole. Not too windy, so it shouldn't fall off. And this position, that stone, was measured with differential GPS, I don't know how many years ago. So, so we'll see what the resulting GPS plot is like. We'll just leave that running for perhaps an hour. Right, time to collect the GPS logger. That's been running about six hours. So, there it is. Been recording GPS data every second. Switch it off. Right, that's off. So take it indoors and uh, see what data we've collected, plotted on a map. Well, that's a surprise. The GPS logger data didn't have any startup position errors. It started off, and as soon as it was tracking, it's practically on the spot. In fact, there it says zero meters. I only uh, round to within a meter. Uh, this is the detailed GPS engineering information. So the useful message to us is the RMC message. Uh, but these are all the messages which include all the satellite information. Uh, at that particular time. So at the moment we're running through the data roughly at real time, that's the file that's got the data in and uh, what I'll do now is that was just within a minute or two of it starting up so I'm now going to run it fast with the plot button and when, what we're doing now is running very fast through the data which was recorded for about six hours to just see how much it wanders around. So it's still saying it's very close to the position. And uh, not sure how long it's going to take that. There is a time flashing up there. But basically, if there's any error, the error is of the order of no more than two or three meters and in fact it seems to be a consistent one to the north east but I'll run it through the six hours and see what it looks like so that's pretty good and that's with uh, a global sat BR355 S4 which is the GPS that we're using in the robot boats at the moment looking at the time in the GPRMS that's only been going half an hour of the replay since we started at 9.30 so we're about an hour through the data now still got pretty well the same position very consistent and I put a destination there at the pole so what we're reading out there is is around about two or three meters from the position Yeah, I hit the keyboard by accident and zoomed out. So here's perhaps a more familiar map based on uh, probably Bing. Well, that was a nice surprise. It turned out that the data was very accurate, including at startup, and we've had time to put it in the blog. So uh, let me just go to the right page skip to the end of the blog, do a refresh so it settles down a bit and down here is the new entry so that describes it the possible possibility is to download the data and 
we can actually see the results by enlarging the pictures. It explains in text there. And that one there. If we look, that is six hours worth of wandering of the position, but at all the time it's within zero to three meters. And that was including at startup. So, in short, that's pretty good.